YouTube. Today I'm going to do a comparison of uh, LG Phoenix 2 versus uh, Samsung Galaxy Express Prime. The left side, this is the LG 2, Phoenix 2. The right side is the Samsung Galaxy Express Prime. So let's see uh, which one has a better uh, camera in an actual test. I'm gonna put this, uh, take a picture of this uh, Disney vinyl from the camera and show you guys the result of the image or the photo quality. I'm going to put it right here. Let me take a picture of it. I'm going to use the same distance. So if you want, we can see the actual, let's see uh, from the LG, uh, this is the LG Phoenix 2, let's see if I zoom in, see all the edges. which is pretty good uh, during daytime. For those of you who didn't watch my full uh, review about the LG phone, there's a link below that will link you to uh, in a full in-depth review about this phone. If you uh, missed it, you could uh, click on the below link and go back and watch it. So this is the Samsung uh, Express Prime. Somehow it's kind of shaky when I take this picture, so it's going to make a blur. I will also link you to the Samsung uh, uh, full review on the link showing it below. The Express Prime, this one has a real camera, it's a 5 megapixel, and then the LG is a 8 megapixel. And they offer the front, uh, front facing camera for the LG is a 5 megapixel, but they don't offer a wide angle, that's the only problem. And then the, the front facing camera for the Samsung is a 2 megapixel. Okay, now the next we're gonna compare is the multiple shots for your camera. Please listen to the Camera shots from the LG. In case uh, you don't know, this one has a four times zoom. Also for the front facing camera, it's also four times zoom for the LG. So after you take multiple shots, you could uh, press this button here to play back.
Okay, next I'm going to do the camera test for the multiple shots with the Samsung. You just press and hold down the snapshot button right here, the camera button on the right. Oh, I didn't uh, do the setting for the multiple shot. Let me check. Oh, I gotta go to the setting, I forgot. Oh, no, no, the mode. This one is different than the LG, so continue shots right here. You press and hold it down. So, for my ex from the experience, it, it seems like the LG is slower on the shutter, uh, shutter speed. The Samsung is faster. So let me go back there and uh, play back. So you gotta go to uh, click on more and then uh, play as an uh, animate. Then you click on play. So uh, please comment below and see uh, what you guys like the best. And Samsung has more options. You, you can click on the speed, either slower standard speed or faster and you could also edit and uh, see which frame or which picture that you don't want to take it out and there's also a ratio I have a problem taking a picture at night time with uh, both of the cameras. But I'm gonna show you the review of the, the result that I was taking. Let me see. This was taken during the night time. And this is the one that I was taking with a flash from the, for the LG. This is from the Samsung taking during night time. At the same time as the LG when I was taking it. This is with the flash. And this is without the flash on. But still uh, pixelated. Because nighttime, normally the picture will not come out as clear, even though if you got a high-end phone, like a Note 5, Note 6, I mean Note 5, Note 4, a nighttime picture is hard to uh, take, 
even though you've got flash on or HD turn on, HDR turn on. So right now I'm going to do the speed test. Ready? One, two, three, go. Somehow the Samsung ping at 25 millisecond, the LG is at 28. Let me do a separate time to see if it make any difference. Instead of simultaneous. Normally my speed is about 22 uh, megabit per second. Normally the upload CV speed is about 2 uh, megabit. So well, somehow the LG is a little bit faster on the speed test, but uh, on the N22, the benchmark, somehow the Samsung scores much, much better. Another thing I want to go over is the the screen brightness, right now the LG is on the 100%, which is the brightest. Uh, LG uses IPS display technology versus uh, Samsung that use uh, Super AMOLED. And Samsung is known for their display and brightness and vivid color. So right now it's, it's not even half setting on the display uh, brightness. So I could, this is a 100% brightness on the Samsung, so it's uh, brighter than uh, LG because uh, right now the LG is showing showing 100%. But uh, if you use that, if you use that a lot of outdoor, doing the outdoor, I would suggest you to go with Samsung because uh, there is a check mark for the outdoor. Uh, brightness so it makes it uh, even brighter might uh, might not be that much but it makes it bright The only problem with the LG or the cons is the the micro SD card. You could only insert up to thirty two gigabyte versus uh, the Samsung. You could uh, insert up to one hundred twenty eight gigabyte, and both of the RAM, uh, RAM on the both devices are one point five gigabyte. 
and the internal memory for both of these phones is uh, 16 gigabyte internal memory take out the case Is a side by side comparison. Forgot to mention the battery on this phone, the LG is uh, 2125 milliamp. And both of them have a the plastic uh, back door, battery door. There's a, it's a micro SIM card. It's not a nano or regular uh, SIM card. Uh, this is a, both of the phone are world phone. It's a quad band phone, GSM. And the uh, upper level right here, you could insert a micro uh, SD card, memory card in there. There's a LG button, uh, power button right here, up, down, volume button. And you open the Samsung. It's a flexible battery uh, door cover for the Samsung as well. Uh, before I forget, on the back, I mean on the bottom, it's a uh, micro USB charger, Come on. and the 3.5 millimeter jack is right here for the headphone. There's a microphone. All right here and top and bottom and on the side there's no, no button for the LG so the Samsung right here is a power button micro USB charger microphone hole right here And on the other side of it, the volume rocker right here, up and down. And on the microphone hole right here, and then a 3.5 millimeter uh, hit, yeah, headphone jack. It's a rear uh, LED right here, 5 megapixel. The battery on the Samsung is uh, 2600 uh, amp, 4.35 volt. Uh, it has a great v review on this phone. A lot of the, a lot of the user they compliment about the battery life on this phone, and I've been watching a lot of video and YouTube on this phone, and it does have a lot. Uh, a lot of juice that would uh, last you a long time. So here's a micro SD card, I mean a micro uh, SIM card. 
and the top one same as uh, uh, LG you can insert a micro SD card right here but this one off uh, you could go up to 128 gigabyte compared to the LG is only 32 gigabyte So please comment below, see which phone you like the best, design, features, For my uh, personal experience, I would I like uh, LG. I mean, uh, for my LG V10 because uh, on the camera I could do the uh, manual setting, the ISO, but somehow on this uh, LG Phoenix 2 is uh, preset, so it cannot do anything at all. But I like how the Samsung their uh, displays is so vivid and colorful and bright. And Samsung is uh, best known for their uh, camera right now on the S6, S7, and S7 Edge. For the picture quality, I would uh, recommend uh, Samsung. Although the LG offer a higher megapixel, but somehow when the picture come out at night time is kinda horrible. So here's my unbox uh my review and my thoughts. So hopefully this will uh make you your buying experience and help you through it to select which phone to to it's best for you I don't know why is the LG keep on taking picture I didn't say anything cheese cheese smile okay this is my comparison and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you like, subscribe, and share it. Or comment below. And there are the other video that will link you to, I mean, uh, description that will link you to my other videos on, on the link showing below. Thank you, and see you on the next video.